Exactly one year since a 31 year old man was found dead near a set of train tracks in Fountain. Tonight, the family of Christian Cook held a candlelight vigil not only to honor his memory, but also to remind others there are still a lot of questions surrounding his unsolved murder. Cardio 13's Barbara Fox is live off of Highway 8587 in Fountain, where the body of Christian Cook was found. Barbara, what is Cook's family saying tonight? Bart Heather, 31-year-old Christian Cook, leaves behind five children. Tonight, his family gathered to honor his life and create this makeshift memorial. You can see flowers and candles all laid out. Cook's brother says this is a way to keep his name out there as police continue to work on catching his killer or killers. I hope he's in peace and I love him so, so much. Haley Cook is Christian's seven-year-old little girl. Tuesday night, she held a candle in her hand in his honor and put it beside his makeshift memorial, something no child should ever have to do. But she chooses to remember all the good memories they had together. When I was two years old, me, me my mom and dad went to Walmart and they picked me up and carried me, like swinged me. Exactly one year ago, in April of 2023, Haley, alongside her four other siblings, were suddenly left without a dad. Christian was found dead here, near train tracks along Highway 8587. We just know that he was shot twice, and there was one in the neck and one in the back of the chest. But that's all we know. As you can imagine, it's been difficult for the family. I still can't wrap it around my head most of the time, but I'm still trying to stay strong, still trying to keep everything going as much as I can. Meanwhile, Christian's killer is still out roaming free. It's not just rough on me, it's rough on my family, and it's rough on everybody else and his kids too, knowing that it hasn't got solved yet. The Fountain Police Department says it understands the family's wants for answers, but they believe closure could be coming soon. Police say they're working to gather evidence so this case can be pros this case can be pros properly prosecuted in court. If you know anything about what happened near these train tracks, you are urged to contact the Fountain Police Department. Reporting live in Fountain, Barbara Fox, Cardio 13. There's